typically, the members of your team are people who have an account to your company's Office 365 organization. That usually means your coworkers at your company. But Teams does allow you to add members to a team who are not in your organization. These are known as guest users. So I'm going to this team that I've created. Click the three dots. And this opens up the menu where I can add member. And of course, this is where I go to add new members to the team. But it is important that you see this line here. It says that you are able to add people outside your organization as guests by typing in their email. If you do not see that line, then you can only invite people to this team if they are part of your company's Office 365 plan. In that case, you would need to contact your company's Office 365 administrator and ask them to enable guest access to Teams if you need that. For now, since I do see this line, I can add guest. I just need to type the person's email. If that person has an Office 365 or other Microsoft email accounts, you should definitely use that. If that person does not already have a Microsoft account, you can send the invitation to any email address, but the guests will need to create a new Microsoft account to sign in to Teams and a basic Microsoft account is free. So I'm going to invite somebody who uses Gmail so we can see the rest from the setup. I'll just put in the email address. And you can see it's giving me the option to add as guests, which is what I want to do. So I'll click here and add. Now, an invitation has been sent to the guest email. So let's see what happens on that end. So I am here on the guest computer and I can see this email that I've received. I'll click to open Microsoft Teams. And to activate it, it may ask you to use a code that it will send to your email. I'll copy that code and paste it and click sign in. Since this is the first time the user is signing into Teams, we need some time to set up. I'll just click accept. And give it a moment while it loads. I do not want to use the desktop version. I could and download the desktop version of Teams, but I'll use the web version for now. Just to clarify, if you do not create a Microsoft account, Every time your guests would like to sign into Teams, they would have to receive a code in their email and input that code. And sign in. Just be aware that Teams will be limited for guest users. For example, the calendar option 
does not appear on the sidebar over here on the left. So guests do not get calendar integration and cannot be invited to schedule meetings, but the main option for sending and receiving messages will still work. So for most users, that is all you need to invite a guest. However, I mentioned a setting that your administrator would have to change if you do not see the option to invite guests. 